Greetings and welcome back. The next thing we are going to add to our terrain are trees. Now there's a couple of different ways you can add trees to your level. You can paint them on using the terrain tools, and I will be showing you how to do that. Or you can also just add them all kind of en masse, which is very useful if you have a great big area and you know you just kind of need to scatter it with trees. You can add them all with a, a menu and then make adjustments to what it gives you. So I'm going to show you both methods. First thing, though, is we have to load in a tree. Now, if we take a look over inside our terrain script area here inside the inspector, we'll see that right next to the paint texture tool, we have the place trees tool. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Now, once again, that is going to be analogous to, I believe it's Shift T. So yeah, if we hit Shift T, that brings up the trees tool, which is convenient. It's easy to remember, T for trees. Now, the first thing we have to do, just like a texture, is we have to add in a tree that we can paint down. So I'm going to come over here to the Edit Trees button, which is about halfway down your inspector, based on your resolution, of course. And we'll click on Add Tree from the menu. It looks a lot like what you see with textures. Now, I'm getting an error, but I don't want that to freak you out. It's just because of window sizes and whatnot. As soon as I drag this out, that's going to change and be just fine. You might, in fact, get the same thing on your end at some point, depending on the kind of monitor setup that you have, which is exactly why we're getting it. We have a very unique monitor setup going <laughs> on right now. So uh, here we are inside the Add Tree window. We can go ahead and choose the tree we want. Currently, we have none. I'm going to click on the small circle button here on the, the far right-hand side. And here's a list of all of the different trees we can add. Notice not all of them are trees. We have all sorts of things we could add in the place of trees. We have rock meshes. Uh, we have uh, the third-person character if we wanted to paint a bunch of those in if we felt like it. But what I'm going to do is scroll down. And about, uh, I don't know, two-thirds of the way down, there's Scott's Pine. There's two of these, actually. There's a Scott's Pine Type A and Type B, and we'll be painting both of them down. So let's go ahead and add them both. We'll start with Type A, just double-click it. And we're not going to worry about the bend factor. We'll leave that alone. Just go ahead and click Add, and this adds a tree. Now, if I was, you'll notice that you know, my brush is huge, and it's kind of hard-edged. I'm going to take my brush size over here in the inspector, and we'll drag this way down because it doesn't need to be that big. If I click and drag, we're adding trees. If I hold down shift and drag with my left mouse, we're erasing trees. And that, of course, is all documented right here. But again, we come back to I, the first time I ever used this tool, I did not see this area where it actually tells you how it works. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, it's that just, guy thing. Yeah, it, it's that guy thing. Or, we you don't know, need instructions. Banner syndrome. I just don't see them because I know they're instructions. My brain automatically filters them out. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can add a bunch of trees at once. Now that we've got one loaded in, we can come up under Terrain, and there's Mass Place Trees underneath the Terrain menu. If we click on this, uh, we're going to get another little error, which I'll go ahead and just bring the, uh, the window out here where we can see it. Again, that just has to do with our very unique resolution settings for video recording. If you're not getting that kind of a problem on your end, then don't worry about it, because you probably won't. Uh, we can set a total number of trees... And that 10,000 is actually pretty high, but let's just click place and see what happens. What we get is a bunch of trees literally stacked virtually right on top of each other. And take a look at where they are. They're in the areas that are mostly leveled out. Anything that would pretty much accommodate a tree. Areas that are too steep are ignored, and we don't get any trees there, which can be quite useful, but obviously this is way too many trees. It's like we're breaking some laws of physics here. So let's go back to terrain, grab mass place trees once more, and we'll pull this down to say, oh, 10,000 is way too much. Let's try maybe 500 in place. And even that is a little bit on the steep side, but it's a nice place to start from. We can begin here and we can edit. Now I'm going to add another type of tree as well. So let's go over here to edit trees, add tree, and we'll click on our little circle button once again. Yeah, something to note is depending on what packages you've already imported, mm -hmm. you may or may not see this many trees or even this selection of trees. That's true. Make sure that you did uh, load in all of the uh, packages that came along with the terrain assets package that we downloaded from Unity's website earlier. We took care of that in an earlier video. So here's our Scott Pine Type B. We'll double-click that, click Add. 
And now we can choose what type of tree we'd like to add. We can paint these other types. They're kind of a thinner tree. There's not as much uh, foliage in within them. And we can edit out trees where we know we don't want them. Like, for instance, we know we don't want our path to be covered in trees. So I'll just hold down Shift and erase those out. Let's pull our brush size down quite a bit. And let's, at the very least, make sure we clean off our path. All right. Another trick that you can do is after you've added multiple trees, mm -hmm. you can mass place the trees, and it will mix all the trees that you have. That's a good point. Let's let's show that, actually. Well, let's just well, let's see if I nuke everything. So if I make a gigantic brush and then hold down Shift, and it's like a big spotlight of doom that makes all the trees just evaporate, which is always fun, we can come way out here, come back to terrain once more, Mass place trees, and let's try a thousand. So double what we had before, and click place. And now it's mixed them up nicely, and it's a good place to start from. So now we'll bring our brush size way down, and let's just start with removing them from the campground. So we'll clear cut the campground, clear out our little pathway. And that's a little bit much. And then all of this is a little too heavy. But again, we've got something to start from. So now we can start with maybe Scott's Pine Type A. We can take our tree density, which is going to be how many we get. We can change the color variation, so how different are the colors going to be. Now, it's not going to vary wildly. You're not going to end up with pink trees. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, a subtle difference uh, from one tree to the next. And we'll need a little more density for something to show up here. So it's just kind of finding the right settings. So we're just kind of adding a few more in as we get closer, like so. Now there's an, a certain behavior that you'll notice as you use trees. They start to look really funny as you zoom away. That's because they're getting converted to what is called a billboard. They're no longer technically a tree in the sense of a an actual polygon model of a tree with leaves and whatnot they've turned into a flat plane with a picture of a tree on it and then as you get close they will morph back into the full tree again it's just a way to keep things nice and snappy and we'll pull down our brush size and oh there we go that's about right and maybe we'll try a few type B's in here too A few more up here. Now this, like every other part of the terrain process, is something you can really spend a lot of time doing. So, I mean, I'm not going to spend a terrific amount of time just sitting here placing trees, but as long as you get the idea that you can add them, you can remove them. And let's see, maybe... Now that's pretty heavy. Pull that down just a little, get a few on either side of our path. I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling the type A ones a little better. I, I just think they look nice. So we'll turn this into a much more densely wooded area leading right up to the edge of our little pathway. And again, just like anything else in Unity, these trees aren't free. So the more trees you put in your scene, the more of a performance hit that you're going to be um, taking. This is true. In areas back here where we know we're not going to be seeing trees, and I don't really intend for the player to go, granted that they could, and you'll want to keep that sort of thing in mind, uh, I am just going to go ahead and nuke them out, at least in our example. And I'm going to thin these out a little bit. Just add like a couple in place. And there are more settings that you'll see in later videos that lets you tweak the performance of the trees. They'll control how many of the trees are real polygon trees as opposed to the billboards, the distance at which they switch from one to the other. Exactly. Just a lot of things that you can do to help uh, make your terrain look lush with trees but not slow the computer down to a crawl when you're trying to play your level. Exactly. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking the really thick areas and I'm actually cleaning them out and swapping them out for just a few slightly less densely scattered trees. 
All right, now let's try this out. We need to give it a test, of course. So I'll just go ahead and click the play button. And let's see, I think we're in the hot spring right now. Yep. And we've got trees everywhere. And something you'll note, if you look, where your terrain gets really, really steep, your trees will start to kind show. of float a little. Right. Now, one of the tricks that you'll find in uh, some of the websites that discuss how to do trains, a trick you can do is actually duplicate your terrain and move it, say, one uh, unit below this terrain and paint your trees on that one, and they'll stick up through your real terrain. That's a really cool trick. Now, we didn't do that, of course, on this end, but it is something that you could think about and try out on your own. For the purposes of a demonstration, I'm not too stressed about the trees just kind of sticking through, but that is a really cool thing to think about. All right, so we've got our trees painted in. Now, of course, you know, if you're following along, feel free to edit to taste, so to speak, until you like what you see. But I think that uh, is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.